What's up, y'all? This is Chase, and before we hop into today's podcast, we want to share a message from today's sponsor, Seeds of Love. Seeds of Love bracelets are great. You've seen them on a couple of our podcasts for sure. They're beautiful, nice, while also being low-key. And the best thing about Seeds of Love, in addition to being a great piece of fashion, is their mission. Their mission is to empower village artisans in Guatemala. Every bracelet is handcrafted with love in Guatemala, and a dollar from each bracelet goes to support local nonprofit organizations in Guatemala. They're available in over 10 colors, including rose gold, ocean teal, and royal blue, as well they have stickers and other accessories that you could pair with your bracelets. If you have a loved one's birthday coming up, share some love and sew some love with high quality bracelets with a purpose, where you can make a difference while also making a fashion statement. You know, what Joe Sway tries to do every single podcast. <laughs> Follow them on Instagram or Facebook at Seeds of Love Bracelets and go support them. And now for today's podcast. Welcome to the Perspective Podcast, Joe Sway here. As you guys know, I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I attended the Oral Roberts University, uh, preach at times, but, you know, we really don't talk about that. And today we do also have Chase Brown. He was born in Texas. He attended University of North Texas uh, as an aspiring philanthropic creative. It is March 29th, and you guys know, whether it's cold, rainy, sleet, or snow, uh-huh. He's going to take his long walks on the beach. Why that is, we won't get into it in this episode. We actually got to talk about something different, Chase. What are we going to talk about today? Man, well, before that, um, how are you doing, Mr. Butterman, also known as the Perspective Cop? Yeah, I'm the Perspective <laughs> out, Cops. outtake before this. Yeah, a little. Maybe we might add it in there later, but I'm doing good, man, doing good. Just went to work today. Um, it's so crazy, like this week is so much slower than... Um, the third week when There's everybody goes in because it's busy, mm-hmm. um, yeah. So it's it's a lot nicer. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I you get you. parking, which is good. I feel you. Yeah. It, it's funny. Mm-hmm. Um, just wait for my Instagram post on Saturday mm. related to the long walks on the beach. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll put in a little. There's a sneak peek, you guys. I'll, I'll, yeah, it's time to tune in. I'll put in a little fun thing. Yeah. Just a little Easter egg for y'all podcast fans and there for Joe Sway, you know, to hold up the reputation. There it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm doing good though. Yeah. Um, and for today, we're just gonna do a quick, uh, quick little convo, quick little podcast. We yeah. just got done uploading um, all of our podcasts from the LA trip, mm. and that was a ton of fun. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Um, do you have a favorite moment from man. those? There was a ton. I think of there was them. a lot, man. There was a lot of moments. I mean, um, Jake's white white guy smirk was pretty. Fun. Yeah, yeah, it was. I'm trying to think. I think it was like. You know, meeting Mike for the first time and then doing mm-hmm. a podcast like right away, uh, and kind of getting to know him more through that. Um, thought it was a cool moment. I think having everybody out for what was that food place we went to? Worst Kirsch or like whatever, or something like that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. there's Prince Street. Yeah, which we talked about on the podcast, which was amazing. Yeah, like that's probably the best pizza I've ever had in my life. Oh yeah, no, that pizza was fire. I'm not and even gonna then, lie to you. Then this hot dog spot called Worst Kirsch that yeah. is like one of Chaz's favorite spots. It's actually like calling it a hot dog spot is kind of being they do a lot uh, to disrespectful it. towards it. They but. do a lot to it. So you just gotta go there and experience. If you're ever in the LA area, yeah. I don't know if you're gonna figure out how to spell it, but you know <laughs> <laughs> as True. Google <laughs> take you to uh, I don't even know how to say the place, you know. Just so try to look up some German word and maybe that'll be right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, today um, we're just going to have a fun little laid back combo. Just kind of share how life has been. Joe Sway has been making some big moves mm. in life um, that he'll be able to share that we'll be able to talk about and then get into a, a little bit about stewardship at the very end, um, but still related to life. And so for you, Joe mm. Sway, how's life been over the last couple months since we got back from L.A.? When do we get back? Got back like... Early November, early February. February yeah. It's been like a month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half. Yeah, life's been busy, man. It's been busy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was in the process of 
buying a house, you know, for those of you guys that probably didn't know. So for those of you that are homeowners or in that process, you know, it, it requires a lot. So there was a lot of documentations, you know, I was almost a whole arm. Yeah. Arm and yeah. I would randomly get calls from like the, uh, what do you call them? Um, like the credit checkers or no, the people that are like processing, they work with oh, your, the mortgage. Agents. Yeah. Like the Morgan mortgage agents. I was getting calls and messages and emails it felt like everything I submitted was never good enough for them, you know. <laughs> um, you know, hey, we need this, we need this, we need this to say this. And I'm like, it says it close enough, but it's not good for them. And so yeah. it was just a long process of doing that. And then from there, trying to get furniture and I decorate the house. And so it's been a long process, but I'm finally on the other side of it. Mm-hmm. You know, I closed on the 23rd of February, moved in almost two Fridays ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so now it's just... Finally, like, okay, I'm on the other side. Let me rest some. Um, Let me actually enjoy the place where I got. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been spending a lot more time at home, being a homebody, as Mm -hmm. they like to call it. So That's what I'm talking um, about. It's a new season, as the Christians say. So, (laughs) yeah, it's definitely a new season right now. So, yeah. I felt the same thing whenever I got this house. Mm. Because, like, you know, 2019, 2020, I was running around. And, like, the buddy that I was living with, Nick, at the time, like, in 2020, I was there with him, but mm. 2019, I was not, and then I'd still be gone a lot. But when, it was funny. He, he told me before I got my house that he was like, hey, man, just so you know, whenever you get that house, you ain't going to want to go anywhere. Mm. And I was like, mm, "Yeah, that might be true for you. I don't know about me, man. Yeah. <laughs> like we can see, but it's just, it's funny to see and and how different something feels and hits whenever it's yours. Mm. Whenever it's your comfort spot, like whenever you have your spot on the couch, yeah. Whenever you know how to work the TV, mm-hmm. like whenever it is yours, mm-hmm. it is a beautiful thing. Oh, what a dog! Yeah. yeah. Okay, random dog. There's a dog. We outside. don't see that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. And so it's funny that that happened. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's been like cool parking in the garage is such a weird concept. <laughs> you know, I'm like, am I too close? Am I too far back? Am I in the middle? But you always have a lot of space, you know. So yeah. Yeah, bro. Good. I'm glad to hear it's been good. Um, And yeah, I mean, it was expected to be busy. Mm. We knew coming back from L.A., it's like, Mm -hmm. all right, now all this house stuff is going on. Yeah. You having um, the last few weeks here, us being able to pray over you Mm -hmm. as you're being able to be sent over to your house. Yeah. Um, And then you doing better than me. And already having your housewarming. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a yeah. weekend it's of still pending. being there. His, his housewarming still pending. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, two years and three months late at this point. Mm. But we can see. You know, you never know what's around the corner. Mm. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm glad to hear, man. I'm glad to yeah. hear. Um, for me, uh, it's been it's been a fun time. It's been it's been busy, but it does, hasn't felt like it's been crazy busy. Mm. There's been, I would say, like two three day spurts where i felt like my head was gonna roll and just like i was a chicken with its head cut off um related to i think the app which i think we've mentioned on Mm -hmm. here finally because we've been hinting at a project for like Mm -hmm. two years at this point but got let everyone know it's an app and so that'll be done with development like mid-may um Mm -hmm. but there's just spurts of like milestones that are being completed where it's like okay we need to make sure everything is right over the course of these like 72 hours Mm -hmm. so then the team can move on to the next step um but then in between then it's just like hey guys like anything you need from me like 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 the team's been great um and they've been pretty self-sufficient um which with a project of this scope um and this complexity is is amazing um Mm. but other than that um i mean I i have had some travel i will have a lot of travel this month um and so was able to go up to Tulsa, see our boy Yvonne, mm. see our boy Zach. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Go down to Houston, start, um, start, or, or, excuse me, Deep Love starting to serve with us down there mm. and Houston, which is amazing to have um, all their additional resources and people mm-hmm. down there. And then, uh, so I had to go, to go down there a couple of times. And then, yeah, y'all been keeping me busy yeah. up here in town. You yeah. know, making sure that there's enough Oreos at your house. Yeah, there's a enough lot. wing stop. Yeah, there's still a lot of over. Oreos there. You know, I'm surprised. <laughs> gotta gotta terrorize the Oreos. And I think even like with you know, whether it be a house or working on a project like mm-hmm. the app, there's some stewardship that comes into play at that part. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think 
Um, one thing I've kind of learned <clears throat> in our aspect of stewardship, obviously, it's a kingdom principle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think the Lord, whether you have a little or you have many, right? Mm-hmm. And um, we're still called to steward what we have, you know, being content in what you currently have and storing that as the Lord continues um, to give you more. So I feel like a big part of it for me was just like, or even now, something I'm trying to, in light of getting a house, it sounds fun, and then you got to pay your mortgage. You're like, oh, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> so it's like, how do I, how do I steward my funds and finances to where I'm able to afford these things and pay mm-hmm. for these things? And so, um, man, and, first thing, yeah, go ahead. And right. be somewhat. Uh, this word isn't the right word, and be somewhat comfortable yeah. or prepared so that you don't have the <laughs> the questions in the back of your mind of just like, oh. Am I going to be good in three months? Like, yeah. I don't know. No, that's a big part of it. It's a big part of it. I think I just really, one day I just came to the conclusion. I was like, you know what? I'm going to trust God mm-hmm. instead of, because, um, so I'm a, I feel like, I don't know what kind of personality trait this is. So the reason why I don't worry about certain things, because I don't think about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm one of those people, if I set my mind on something, it's going to stay there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. So my um, my default is to not give my attention to certain things, not like you know bad way where like you're avoiding it. It's like I'm like Lord, I'm just gonna give this to you because if I know if I'm stuck with it, it's not gonna leave my mind. I'll be thinking about it every single day, every moment, mm-hmm. you know, in a weird kind of like almost obsessive way. So so I knew I was kind of starting to fall into that. Like, how is this math gonna add up? How is this gonna do? How is it gonna do? I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it to God, you know. And I'm going to take life one day at a time. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to try to plan my finances in this kind of way instead of thinking about three months of life, four months of life. No, not that there's anything wrong with them. I know for me personally, if I start thinking about things in that kind of way, it's just going to be on my mind. Yeah. It's going to cause unnecessary worries and things of that nature. You know, so so I think stewardship can yeah. come in many different ways, but it's important, you know, for us to steward what we have. Obviously, you know, enjoy things. You know, mm-hmm. you can't just save and never spend money. What's the point of that? You can't have chicken and <laughs> rice every day. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's, what's the point of that? Sometimes, you know, you got to buy something nice for yourself. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't make things bad. But how do you kind of process stewarding, you know, what the Lord has given you? Yeah, well, I think something related to what you were talking about in terms of just, like, not thinking about it. I I, I can relate to that in some ways um, to where I, I realized through this, this app, through this project, um, and through another project that's going on, it's, I feel like I'm kind of approaching it in like a naive way, mm. but that it's good mm-hmm. to where we have other friends working on, you know, projects that they're just, they can be overwhelmed mm. with, you know, the scale of it, the scope of it. Yeah. And <clears throat> day in and day out where I'm just kind of like, I feel like I understand like what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I know the potential. I feel like I know the weight that's on it, but still I'm just like, Eh, we good. Yeah. Like we, we got this. Yeah. Um, and so it, it's, it's interesting cause it's a different angle for what you have, but it's, mm-hmm. I don't really know where that confidence comes from. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I guess like the preparation that's been put into it and yeah. then just like knowing that this is what the Lord has told us to do mm-hmm. for like four years at this point mm-hmm. and just continually over and over <clears throat> again, even yeah. whenever the Lord closes doors, um, knowing it's like, okay, Like, we'll just keep knocking, like, and eventually something's going to, something's going to be there. Mm -hmm. But for me with stewardship, um, and this is a direct question that you can answer after this, but, um, because this was like one specific thing I was wanting to hear for you is like, for the year leading up to me buying the house, Mm. um, it was something where I, for me, this was basically all of 2020. And I know for 2020, it was a tough year for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful to say for me, like the Lord protected me a lot in Mm. that. Um, and so I still had my job. I still had, um, all these other things going on, but in it, it it wasn't something where I had this like vision of like, okay, by the end of the year, Mm -hmm. I want to buy a house. Mm -hmm. It was just like this, this gradual nudging and interest that I had and desire that I had on my mind Mm -hmm. of like, okay, yeah, like I would like to do this. Um, granted, cause I was thinking down the road of like, okay, if I want to get, um, this by this date, if I want to get married by this date, if I want to do this, like, okay, mm-hmm. like, yeah, it makes sense to have a house. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like I was looking at the finances, looking at the options, asking the Lord 
looking at my heart and be like, no, like this makes sense too. Mm. I'm not just doing it because society is telling me to do it. Mm. And I'm not just doing it because I, I, I think this is what I should be doing. Mm. And I think it's what I should be pursuing. Um, and so in it, there was, there, there was a house that I looked at maybe June of 2020. Mm. And so like six, seven months before I bought mine. And it was just like, I, I really like this kind of fits within the price range, but mm, I'm going to move kind of slow mm. in it. I, I'm not going to be impulsive. I'm not going to rush. Because mm-hmm. um, I feel like sometimes whenever we do things impulsively or rushing, it's out of this place of fear mm. of either not getting it or fear of complacency, um, inadequacy, things like that. Mm-hmm. And so um, didn't get that place. But then there was this townhome community here that was being built. And I was like, oh, okay, I like the spot. I like this. I feel like this all makes sense. And it, I thought about it for six months, Mm -hmm. which I'm grateful because not Mm -hmm. very many people in the home buying population are able to wait six months. Mm -hmm. Um, but the Lord protected me in that and, um, made me realize it's like, okay, like you, you have been preparing for this day to come up. My, mm. my quote unquote rent that I was paying at the time was only like 300 bucks a month. Mm-hmm. God bless that friend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but in it, um, I was like, okay, like this would be an increase in this. Um, and, and definitely a question that I had in the back of my mind was, I don't want this to hamstring me mm. with all these other things that mm-hmm. I know that you've told me to do, Lord. And so in that, having my desire, having my allegiance be more towards what the Lord has called me to do rather than achieve some status or some marker that mm-hmm. would then make me think I'm successful mm-hmm. or established or settled. Mm-hmm. Um, and so in it, I was thinking through it, praying through it. It's like, okay, no, I, I we can still do all of this. If I invite you in, if I invite mm-hmm. Josiah in, like this will be able to still happen. Like, like we're, we're good. Um, and so taking all that into account rather than just being like, um, you need like unilaterally focused mm-hmm. on the house. Um, cause there is something to be said about single mindedness yeah. and having a vision that you're going towards. But sometimes mm-hmm. we can obsess over something so much that we think that's single mindedness when yeah. really what it is, is keeping your mind on the vision that the Lord's put in your heart to pursue, mm. which is a number of things. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. And so, and it, it was just a whole year of kind of leading up to that and preparing for it. Um, so that whenever that day did come, and y'all moved in before I did. Yeah. <laughs> that I was like, okay, like we good. Mm-hmm. Like, like we're gonna. I, like I know my budget. I, I know it's not like I can spend, you know, to buy all this furniture right now. I'm gonna buy it over the course of the first two three months. Yeah. Because that was just my budget at that point, and it'll be good. Um, and so yeah, man. So for you, what did it look like for the last year, leading up to you buying the house? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy because I was actually saving for something else completely. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and then so. I mean, I felt like last year at one point at the Lord, just I was praying about something else, and I feel like He just put that on my heart, and I was like, "Who me?" Mm. And I'm like, I don't have the you know money to be doing the house buying thing, and um, but at the beginning of the year, you know, something that I'm pretty, um, you know, I would even encourage you all listening, whether it be a house or a job or any other thing that you feel like, man, I really felt like the Lord is putting this on my heart. I learned a long time ago that. Um, you know, faith is in your feet. Pretty much what that means is in your action. You know, if you don't do nothing, then nothing's going to happen. If you don't move, nothing's going to happen. Pastor Tony Evans gives that example of like, imagine, um, imagine like when you're going to Walmart and you get close to the doors and the doors just open, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, um, there's, there's sensors there that knows that as soon as somebody is walking up, that the door should open. If nobody walks up, the doors won't open, but the sensors are always on. He's like, in the same kind of way, that's how faith works. It's like, God has power, you know? Mm-hmm. If you don't move, if you don't do anything, if you don't take him for his word, you're not going to see nothing happen. And it's not because God didn't want to do it. It's because you didn't move, mm-hmm. you know? And so um, so I remember just taking that at the beginning of the year. I said, you know what? Let me reach out to a realtor and start the conversation. Mm-hmm. Start a conversation. And for me, things just kept working smoothly. Like, things just kept going. I was planning on buying in the summer. Um, but, you know, I was advised, hey, I would do it now just because 
it was probably like at 4.7 at the time. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, the rates are going back up again. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, so what I was saving for before, I was able to use some of that as well as, you know, taking some stuff from um, my retirement as well. I can't talk about it because I'm licensed. I don't want to get my license taken away, <laughs> yeah. but uh, maybe we could talk offline <laughs> if you come to me. Yeah. Um, so taking some of that, um, and I made sure to take enough to where I knew that I'm able to pay my bills on time and be comfortable. Um, and it's crazy because something else came up in that process that I had to pay for that was really, really big. Um, so technically, my car was also part of my uh, closing mm-hmm. uh, closing costs, you know, just to be able to help me out in terms of like that's income ratio. Yeah. Um, so my car is also paid off, thank God. Amen. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so that's really cool. But, but yeah, so it was it was really just the Lord making a way and making things seamless. It felt like, you know, I've I've kind of learned that when things are smooth like that, um, and it's something that He wants me to do, then typically it's Him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The enemy isn't opening doors for me. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I feel like the Lord is is good in that kind of way. And so, yeah, a lot of my stewardship for for the house was saving for something completely different. And then also just knowing some of the tax laws and um, like, okay, you know, I'll take some from my retirement and I'll be okay, <laughs> you mm-hmm. know? And so, um, so yeah, so that, so that was the plan, you know? But, you know, thank God we're here and kind of got that behind us. And now we're just figuring out like, okay, how do I take care of everything? But even yeah. in that, I'm learning to just submit it to Christ, you know? One thing that I thought about that became very apparent to me, I've been saying it, Almost the last couple of weeks, definitely since maybe maybe the beginning of April, um, the Bible says a lot about in Christ, in Christ, in Christ. And the in Christ there is not just something that's said casually, right? We think about the children of Israel when they were walking through the wilderness, you know, since fire by night, uh, cloud by day to protect them. They were drinking out of a rock, manna was coming down. And all of those things, um, Paul, and I believe in 2 Corinthians, he talks about how all of them were also, he says that they were all baptized, you know, they were all, all of these things, he was making a point, but they didn't do it by faith, yeah. you know? And I think about them walking, being in the Lord because they were in covenant with him and how he provided for them. I'm like, wait, I'm also in covenant with them. You know, I'm in Christ. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, I see... I can see provision here from the Lord because I'm in Christ. The Bible says in Romans 8, I believe, that if God gave us his son, how how will he also not give us all things through him? Mm-hmm. You know, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> you know. So it's, it's it's a big deal too. I've I've learned to settle and rest and steward in Christ. Yeah. Um, learning that, knowing that I don't have to always be so worried, especially when things don't look ideal, yep. because I just know that he's in me, he's with me, I'm in him, and because I'm in him, like, there's provision there, there's covering there, there's mm-hmm. supply there, um, you know, we're favored, we're blessed, you know, and we could bring things to God uh, through prayers and supplications and make our requests known to him, mm-hmm. um, that whole thing from Philippians 4, and so, um, yeah, so I really just keep telling myself like man you're in Christ and because you're in Christ things may not be looking ideal but he, you're in him he's with you you mm-hmm. know your provision is in him and all all that good stuff as well so yeah man. yeah it's fun and yeah um I already told you but I'm proud of you bro excited to see you um just continuing to grow in life um yeah it's been cool to see you you know at the house over the last couple of years and it's cool to see you at your own place in your own environment. Saturday at the housewarming, hmm, yeah, you know, shaking all the hands, kissing all the yeah, babies, all, the all babies. that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> It'll be good. I do need to get my uh, oh, yeah. my uh, lawn chair back at some point. Yeah, that's I, for you didn't sure. grab it, the red one. No, nah, people nice, were sitting on house. it. Okay, I, I wasn't okay. going to be kicking people off there, but yeah, I'll go over there at some point though. Um, but yeah, man, I'm excited to see what'll happen. Um, yeah. And just for y'all with oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, for, for podcast stuff, um, I think, I think we're still going to be able to do weekly episodes here over the next couple of months. Um, we'll see as life rhythms just kind of figure out, um, yeah. I know I'll be gone for basically two thirds of May of April mm. and then 
Joe Sway, you have life going on. We both yeah. have life going on. And so with with it being a little bit of a travel now to make it happen, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see how it goes um, as we're stewarding haha, all of the other things and projects mm. in our life. Um, and then we'll probably be recording some from Joe Sway's house. So you'll yeah, be able yeah. to see some of that, be able to see the the elegant setup over there. Elegance. <laughs> it's a word, but um, but yeah, y'all, um, that'll be a wrap for us today. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. All of our information will be in the description below if you want to support us. Um, the podcast outreaches, um, the app, everything that we're doing. You can reach out to us if you want to know about the app. Um, we could share about it privately, not publicly right now. Mm. Um, just give us a few months for that public announcement. But yeah, y'all, until next time, much love. God bless. Yep.